Today, we are going to look at the 23 most used acupuncture points in clinical practice. I want to know which one is your favorite one or your go-to one. My favorite of all time is Stomach 40. So yes, it is going to be part of this compilation. We're going to look at the function and how to use them best in clinical practice. Are you ready? Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, I'm Clara from AcuPro Academy and I'm outside today talking about acupuncture, my favorite subjects, because what I do is I create Chinese medicine and acupuncture content for students and practitioners, making it easy to grasp and fun to learn. Let's rock it. Kidney one, reduce blood pressure, help relieve insomnia, great for people who have too many thoughts and cannot shut them down. Kidney one is very grounding for the people that feel scattered. For the hearty and you, it will bring the fire down. Stomach 40 is great for people with asthma or those congested with a lot of phlegm. It helps relieve nausea and vomiting. Great to balance blood sugar and for people with weight issues. It also relieves anxiety, dizziness, and helps with poor focus. Liver 3 is great for headaches, especially those on the temporal area. It helps high blood pressure, dizziness. It is useful for post-stroke, a great point for depression, PMS, urinary and external genitalia issues, and for eye infections. Stomach 6 is great to relieve toothaches, TMJ and jaw clenching, Bell's palsy. It also helps in post-traumatic stress disorders and past emotional distress, such as childhood trauma. Bladder 40 is the best point for low back issues, as well as hips problems and knee issues, especially the back of the knee. It's a great point for acute vomiting and diarrhea and for any kind of acute red rashes such as hives. Gallbladder 34. This is the best point for joint ligament or tendon pain anywhere in the body. It helps relieve neck and shoulder tension and temporal headaches. It's also good for indigestion, nausea or vomiting and infections such as ear infection, bladder or yeast infections. It lowers blood pressure and it helps those with decision-making issues, often due to low self-esteem or self-doubt. Long 7 is used for issues affecting the head and the neck. It helps relieve the common cold, asthma attacks, and one-sided migraines. And when combined with kidney 6, it balances reproductive hormones to help fertility and pregnancy. Rent 4. REN4 tonify the kidneys and essence. It's useful for irregular or painful menstruation that feels better on warmth. It warms the uterus and boosts fertility, especially when moxibustion is used. It regulates the bladder for incontinence or frequent urgent urination. It also warms the digestive system to stop watery diarrhea. And it restores prolapse for organs such as the uterus, the rectum, or the bladder. Spleen 4, which is located on the inner side of the foot. It is used to regulate menstruation, to help women with fertility issues, and in conjunction with pericardium 6, it can help morning sickness. It also relieves diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting, and it calms the mind for those who worry and overthink too much. REN 17, located in the center of the chest. It is one of the best points for chest pain and for anxiety, as well as helping those with a stuffy chest who have difficulty in expectorating phlegm. It is great to help new mothers with breast milk issues. And finally, for indigestion, heartburn, and acid reflux. REN 12, located in the upper abdominal region. It is the best point for any kind of stomach issues, including acute or chronic stomach pain, bloating, nausea and vomiting, acid reflux, heartburn, and indigestion. Kidney 3, located between the Achilles tendon and the ankle bone on the inner side of the foot. It is a great point for low back aches and pains, insomnia, especially for those tossing and turning, night sweats, and incontinence. 
It's also used for fertility issues and low libido, as well as for dizziness and ear ringing. Gallbladder 21, located at the top of the shoulder. It's a fantastic point to relieve muscle tension of the neck and shoulders. It is counterindicated during pregnancy until it's time for labor, and then it helps with induction. And it's used to help lack of breast milk. Sanjiao 5 located on the top of the forearm just above the wrist. It is a great point to use when there is sore throat, fever and slight sweat or alternating chills and fever. It helps with neck and shoulder pain as well as copper tunnel syndrome. It is used for ear infection and ear ringing and can help relieve migraine headaches large intestine 4 located between the first and second finger on the top of the hand. It is the best point for any kind of headaches and it can help relieve pain anywhere in the body, back pain, ankle strain and even menstruation pain. It is used for bowel issues such as constipation or diarrhea and it is useful to relieve external pathogens such as colds and flus. And because it is the commander point of the face, it can help anything in that area, including toothache, nosebleed, swelling of the face, jaw pain, and much more. But it is counterindicated during pregnancy, until the end, and then it is used for labor pain or induction if needed. Ian Tong, located on the face between the two eyebrows. It is a fantastic point to calm the mind for anxiety, depression, overthinking, and for those whose mind never shut down. It's great for insomnia, to reduce high blood pressure, relieve headaches, and perfect for sinus issues such as chronic or acute congestions. Stomach 7, located just in front of the ear and below the cheekbone. Stomach 7 is great to relieve toothaches, ear ringing, TMJ and jaw clenching, trigeminal neuralgia, Bell's palsy, and post-stroke paralysis. Bladder 60, located between the ankle bone and the Achilles tendons on the outside of the foot. It is a fantastic point for tension headaches located in the back of the head, but also for any kind of back pain, upper, middle, or lower back, chronic or acute. It is also used for dizziness and blurred vision, but it is counterindicated during pregnancy until the end, and then it can help with difficult labor. Do 4, located below the second lumbar vertebrae in the middle of the lower back. This is a fantastic point for any kind of low back issues. It's also used for those who are extremely fatigued and feel cold all the time, as well as for irregular or very painful menstruation. It's also used for low libido, impotence, and seminal emission. And finally, it can help those experiencing early morning diarrhea. Do 14, located below the seventh cervical vertebrae on the upper back. It is used to strengthen the spine for neck pain and stiffness. But also, it is the main acupuncture point for colds and flus to help relieve chills and fever. Cupping therapy is often used on Do 14, especially with children, to help relieve cough and asthma attacks. This acupuncture point can also be used for epilepsy and seizures prevention, as well as for mental disorders, mainly for manic behavior. Bladder 62, located on the outside of the foot just below the ankle bone. It is a fantastic point to alleviate pain, especially back pain or stiff neck. It also relieves headaches due to tension and it is used to prevent dizziness, vertigo, or epileptic attacks. It calms the mind for insomnia or those who feel restless at night, and for manic behaviors. And lastly, it releases the heaviness of emotional trauma by helping the patient feel lighter. Gallbladder 41, located on the side of the foot. It is a great point for mastitis or breast distension but also for migraines or tension headaches, as well as for red, swollen eyes or excess lacrimation, and for those patients suffering from dizziness or vertigo. 
In combination with other acupuncture points, it can also be used for menstruation issues or yeast infections. And that's how acupuncture rock!